Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tommy with Elevation every weekend. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the recently revealed 2022 Trek Farley 9.6. I wanted to take a little time just to talk about the new colors, uh, the spec for this year, and unfortunately, some news on when it will be available. I have a good personal history with Trek bikes, and the Trek Farley 9.6 is one of those bikes that I would actually like to own someday. It is on the higher end of the fat bike spectrum and is definitely a performance-oriented fat bike. When Trek brought the Farley to the fat bike market several years ago, they did so with 27.5 inch wheels. And if they weren't the first to do it, they were probably definitely the most influential as far as that wheel size becoming something that other companies adopted. And in my opinion, I do think the 27.5 wheel size for a fat bike is probably the most versatile and best all round option, especially for those that want to ride a fat bike year round as I do. So first and probably the most obvious change for 2022 is the color scheme. Last year's model had a pretty nice and classy looking dark blue color, but this year's model is certainly more colorful and vibrant, which is something personally I do like on bikes. So for 2022, they actually call the color radioactive red to navy to teal fade. And the name is descriptive if nothing else, but uh, it is a very cool color and definitely eye-catching. If you are someone that does prefer more subdued colors, unfortunately there's no option in the 9.6 for anything other than this one. So let's move on and look at the specs and the features of the bike for this year. So as was the case last year with the 9.6, this year's bike is built around Trek's OCLV mountain carbon frame material. That is just their design process to ensure a durable impact resistant carbon frame. And their marketing term for it is quote unquote retained strength. The rear sizing of the bike is built around the most common sizing of 197 by 12 millimeter through axle with sliding dropouts. And then the front carbon fork is also built around the common standard of 150 by 15 through axle sizing. As mentioned, all Farley's come with 27.5 wheels. They do have a couple aluminum models in the line. And as I did kind of touch on already, I do think that 27.5 wheel size option is probably the most versatile and the best for an all round fat bike experience. Whether you're just looking to do the more extreme types of snow riding and things like that, or you want to use it for trail riding in the summer by changing up your tire options and sizes, you can really get the most out of that wheel size in my opinion. And the wheels are built with Sun Ringlet mule foot 80 millimeter wide rims laced up to Bond Traeger hubs. And the bike ships with 4.5 inch wide tires, which are also the Bontrager Barbagazi 120 TPI folding tires. The drivetrain on this year's bike is full SRAM GX Eagle. You have a 12 speed 10 to 52 cassette in the rear, a 32 front chain ring, and GX Eagle cranks with dub press fit bottom bracket. About the only thing on the entire drivetrain I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that it is press fit, but I actually do have this very same press fit bottom bracket on my Canyon Exceed cross country bike, and it's been totally fine and there's been no noise no creaks, nothing like that. One of the cool features is the bike does ship with a dropper seat post. It is a Trans X 130 millimeter dropper in size large and they do vary the travel based on the size of the bike. The brakes are also SRAM. They're the level TL hydraulic disc brakes. 160 millimeter rotors front and rear. I do have the SRAM level T disc brakes on my Canyon Exceed cross country bike and they've been adequate on that bike. So I think these being the TL are a little bit of an upgrade and probably would be a little bit better on the uh, Farley. And most of the rest of the build kit on the bike are just a, an assortment of solid Bontrager parts that they use on most of their bikes. According to Trek's website, the medium comes in at just under 29 pounds, set up tubeless, which is actually pretty good considering that it's got larger four 4.5 inch tires on it. The geometry of the Farley is actually fairly competitive and standard for fat bikes these days. It's a 69 degree head tube angle. The chain stay length is a moderate 45.5 centimeters and the reach is about a 44 centimeter reach. And again, that's on a large. So for the most part, there's not really any drastic changes from last year's bike to this year's bike other than the color. And in my opinion, the Farley does maintain its place as far as being a very competitive, very performance oriented fat bike, which does great in the snow or like I said, in year round riding, trail riding, it can be a very fun and fast bike. Probably the biggest area that it does lack compared to some of the competition is the lack of mounting points for racks and cages. The only mounts on the entire bike are two bottle cages, which are on the inside of the frame triangle. There's nothing on the top tube. There are no mounts on the fork and there's not even any eyelets or mounts on the rear triangle of the bike. So with all the variety of frame bags and things that are out there these days, I would say you could still make the Trek Farley a suitable bike pack 
bikepacker, but if bikepacking and carrying load is going to be a primary need of yours, uh, there are probably going to be better, more attractive options out there. So let's talk some bad news, and that is in the price and the availability. The price of this year's bike has gone up about $150 from about $3,300 last year to about $3,450 this year. That is U.S. pricing. And then probably the biggest disappointment is the availability or the lack thereof. I was told by two different kind of inside sources and another at a bike shop that if you put your name on a list for one of these bikes today, the projected ship date is not till August of 2022, which is ironically right about the time I would expect them to be announcing the 2023 model of the Farley. Hopefully as time goes on, hopefully these things will change and they'll get some better ship dates and those things will start improving uh, for people that want these bikes. One of those same sources also told me for some of Trek's full suspension bikes, they're not even projected to ship until spring of 2023, which is really insane. So I just want to do this quick video to kind of highlight what I think is one of the best higher end carbon fat bikes on the market. And also just let you know that unfortunately availability is probably going to be a real challenge for the coming months, if not most of the next year. If you have been holding out for a 9.6 this year, it might be time to start at least looking at other options unless you're prepared to wait well in the next year. And if you did happen to be on a list for one of these bikes uh, before it was announced or just as it came announced, and if they gave you an earlier ship date, I'd love to hear about it. So tell me about it in the comments down below. It would be great to hear that maybe at least some of these bikes in limited numbers would get out there on the trail before the end of this year, but it's not looking good from what I've been told. So if you have any questions, comments, or insights regarding the 2022 Farley, definitely drop those down in the comments below. If you found the video helpful at all, definitely drop a like down below. And if you're finding value in the fat bike content I've been bringing you and will continue to be bringing you, definitely subscribe to this channel. It does really help out and it tells YouTube that you want to continue to see this type of content. Thanks a lot and have a great day.